<laughs> look how sick that looks. Oh my god! What? Oh, here we go. Can I help you? What's good? All right, guys. Welcome back to another Danny Z video. Today we have a big video. We have been waiting for this for so long. Behind me is a new body kit for the Nissan 370Z. It is here. This is the reveal video. Smash that like, subscribe, comment below what you guys think about it. And with that being said, quick B-roll before we get to the install. Here behind me, a lot of you guys said, I even on my last video, or the video for the last video, I even put it in the beginning, a lot of you noticed that. A lot of you didn't, so if you did, good for you, I did that on purpose. Well, here behind me, we have the Weber kit from Alliance Carbon. Actually, let's go back to a couple weeks ago, or last week, when he actually dropped it off at the house. Well, that footage I just forgot about, but here is the front lift that you guys have not yet seen. It is going in the front bumper. This thing is insane, like look at the size of this. This thing is actually insane. Carbon fiber, it goes in the front of the car. I'm gonna show a clip of me kind of mocking it up right now. But we're actually gonna put this, along with some lights that I actually can't find, uh, which is really bad, but I am gonna find them before the next video. And yeah, it's gonna look really cool on the bumper. I'm so excited. It goes kind of like this. That looks really cool there, right? This is in the beginning of the video. They haven't even seen me put the front bumper on, but after the whole kit, what do you think about it? Like your honest opinion, what do you think about the front bumper, the side skirt, the rear bumper? Do you like it or no? I'm talking to you behind the camera. <laughs> front bumper, a Weaver style front bumper. You guys can go ahead, like he said, check it out on his website. Huge shout out to him. These things look insane. And what I love about it, Christian, when to come down here, if you look down there, it's gonna look insane with the intercooler showing. So that's another thing. And we have a few things for the turbo as well that has to do with the rear bumper. Actually, here, I got the camera show real quick. So we are gonna do a few modifications to these bumpers. Today, we just wanna install, install it on the 370Z and just see how it looks. Obviously, it's gonna look amazing, but after the install and after the turbo kit, oh, by the way, there's Christian. What's up, Christian? After the turbo kit, we are gonna do something very, very cool with this rear bumper. So as you guys know, I'm going rear mount, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut all this down here where you're actually gonna be able to see the turbo from behind. And that's actually super, super sick. We also got a few things from the for the front bumper that are not here right now. Well, they are. I'm just, actually, I'm just gonna show you guys now. It is hot. We're in Florida. Well, we have that front lip. We also have a uh, little carbon fiber lights on the side. It's gonna look amazing. Then we got the side skirts, which you guys have already seen if you're keeping up with the video. Side skirts, rear bumper, front bumper. And the best thing about everything, it's fiberglass. So, yeah, we're gonna put it on today. They'll probably take it off until I get the air suspension set up. And then I'll put everything back on because it's fiberglass, speed bumps, low cars. It doesn't like it. Well, I could have gone with a few choices, but I really like the Weaver. Honestly, the Weaver's not common at all out there. Um, I did run the Nismo kit. This video is my final goodbye to being a Fismo. So, rip in the chat, no longer fake Nismo. I left the gang, I love you guys. No, but the Weaver looks really nice, man. I'm super happy with this choice. Look how hot it is. There we go. Super happy with this choice. I mean, look at that front and rear. It's just so aggressive. It's gonna be insane. But okay, we're gonna go ahead and do first things first. Jack up the car, then probably install the front bumper. If we don't die while jacking up the car, because it's so hot. Dude, how hot it is right now. My guess, like 97, 98. Like it's 92. What? It's 90? Feels like 99. Woo! Alright, with that being said, let's get started because we're about to pass out and enough talking. Having... Was this yeah. <laughs> we can go off roading anywhere. So this is fire glass, so I mean. Bam. Bada bum bum pam. Alright, under the tail light here. It's hard to like push it in here. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah. It just doesn't want to go in. Oh. 
I think you gotta put one side in and then push the little because it's fiberglass, so it closes like that a little bit. So the back first. Okay, there's clips here too. Yes, sir. This is hard. <laughs> Oh, you know what it might be? The carbon fiber that he put. All right, so I think what the problem, I was telling Christian, I think the problem is that these bumpers on the very, on like the edges is actually carbon reinforced. You can see right there. So, I mean, the carbon, it is like an extra sheet, extra layer, so it does make it a little bit thicker. So whenever we're trying to put it in here, it might not fit, but we literally dremeled down all the all the little tabs, so we're gonna see. Moment of truth, will it fit? It's in? This side's in. Here, hold it here. You just need the light. All right, so, oh, nice. Oh, that's, oh. Oh, dude, look how sick that looks. Oh my God. And the fitment is great, I mean, look at this. Perfect here. It's another problem we're having. Get it to this. Push it a little more this way, but oh my god. And like I said, I do have like little fence here and lights that are gonna go. Oh, it's just... Push it in so it in? bends. Uh -huh, so it bends. But look, you see the gap here compared yeah. to this one here? This is perfect, that one isn't. So you wanna push it more that way? Seen the Vader body kits that they do on the Infinity? Oh, the Vader That's kits, exactly yeah. What it looks like. Dude, this thing looks so mean. Just imagine the intercooler here in the front, and then you got the little carbon fiber lights. Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna be insane. And the carbon fiber front lid. But okay, so we got everything in this side, these clips right here. So basically, the little tabs, instead of being straight, they're a little bit curved up, or is it curved down? They're a little bit curved down, so they're not really clipping in, because you see how this side has like a little curve right here, or like a little, it's not super flush. This side is great, this side is completely flush. So all the clips are in, but I mean, everything fits really good. Wow. Yes, sir. Oh, sick. All right, let's go a little bigger. Oh, that should be good, maybe a tad bit bigger. Ah, uh, nah, this one. So it is not lining up perfectly. That's a problem that we gotta fix. This is completely off. The bolts, the holes right here in the, yeah, see? Probably just drill new holes then. All new holes. Let's do the rear bumper, because that might be a little harder. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna zip tie it. Just to have it firm, gonna leave it like this for a little bit, not even gonna drive it anywhere. Do zip ties, safe lives. Greatest thing ever. Temporary though, temporary. One here, one here. So the third one in the middle. Front done. Time for me. Cars lifted, dude. <laughs> I had to like rig it up with zip ties. Oh, it smells like. Oh, it's bad. All right, so we're, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take off the zip ties. Do you have one of these? No, I have a knife. Bro, this is the best thing ever, bro. Uh, greatest cutter of all time. Bam. Right here. Bam. Bam. I was like, what is this noise? There's the fender liner hitting the wheel. Pretty simple. There's a 10 mil on this side. And got him. So now, I forgot to be honest. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, now we got a, huh? Oh, a zip tie, oh, zip tie there? Okay. There. Oh. I mean, basically I'm just gonna have to disconnect this, like the little setup I had here with the third brake light. 
Because, I mean, I can't disconnect it from down there. Let's um, take... This was very sketchily. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's been out for like three years. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Gita, do you like that one better? Yeah, I think she does. So here's like a good side to side between both bumpers. Very similar, you got the, the indent over there. And Christian was just saying how this one does look a little bit better and just more aggressive because of the diffuser. But then again, I don't know if I'm gonna get a diffuser for this one. I technically can, cause this down here we are gonna cut off and you're gonna be able to see the turbo kit with the turbo right there. It's gonna be insane, but here's a quick look. I do still like this one a lot though. That looks super nice. The S mode, the little button in the corner over there. That's ref match. You click that and then whenever you downshift, you don't have to ref match. You don't have to ref match yourself. It does it for you. And it barely has any scratches, which is crazy. So that's nice. That's good. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. Actually, first things first, we have to take this from this bumper which is just held in by zip ties because I'm great ingenuity nice nice oh my god oh <laughs> look at your hand Dude, we're gonna get AIDS <laughs> Yeah, so I think this is actually what goes in that bumper. So maybe, maybe this little thing I have to take it out and put it in between yeah, this and the, that. Yep. That's the holder. That's what it screws in. All right. Let's see. I'm guessing it's like this, right? Mm -hmm. Like it fits, but not really. I mean, it does. Yeah, we can make it fit. These things go in here. Right there. Like that. You see? So we bolt it down. We'll be good. A GoPro just died, but Christian just pointed out there's actual Z's on each side of the car. That is so cool. And they're like reversed. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, there's so much noise right now. My neighbors are outside. There's like they're like mowing the lawn. Dude, this actually like the bumper is very very different, but it actually looks really good. So you know what's crazy? This light fits better here than it did in the rear bumper, in the last bumper, which kind of sucks. And I was broken, <laughs> and I would have actually ah, that kind of sucks actually. But yeah, I mean that's not that's not great fitment. And we already tested out the, the lights and everything works. Hashtag electricians. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Lip where it says Nissan. Yeah. It's more of a round lip. It's more of a slant. Right, so it kind of goes like with the aggressive like slant look. Oh, wow. I gotta go on the share. This is the share of the truth. How does it look? Yo! These two bumpers are very, very different. A lot of people are gonna like this one, this one better, and a lot are gonna like that one better. Cause this one is more of like a, I think it's more of like a cut here and down, right? Yeah. That one's more of like an aggressive oh, just wow. round, so. Now she got a pointy booty. <laughs> the fact that it was round, now it's pointy. I don't know, I'm really thinking about it, like, I just wanna do something different with it. Maybe like, molding it. Oh, that'll be cool. But like maybe, yeah, yeah, kind of. Maybe like learning how to bondo and just bondoing all of this right here. Like I love the wing, but I want to kind of evolve it in a way. Make it like seamless. That would be super. Like making making all this like seamless, making this carbon fiber. That'll be really cool. That'll be like a cool wing 2.0 type of project we can do. That is different. It's different now. Oh, here we go. That has more of a Dude, that looks so aggressive. Not even with the front lip. Not even with the lights. <laughs> and it's two different colors. Like you know, if it's if it looks cool or just decent without being the same color, when it's the same color, it's gonna be killer. Good luck with it.
Alright, and we're back day two. Actually, Christian, show them the show them the, the fit, today's fit. Dude, look at these. Wearing these just for you guys. But day two, first time seeing the car. Still looks amazing. They were mainly gonna go ahead and do the side skirts. No, I'm not gonna film too much, y'all. So we're gonna do the side skirts today. Um, I'm just gonna do lots of time lapse. I first thought I had to take out the fenders for the side skirt, but then I remembered I really don't. So we're seeing the bumper on the ground. The fitment is actually really nice. I like the fitment of the of the rear bumper much better than the front bumper. I mean, they both fit good, but yeah, you can see the toe down here. Ooh, still can't get over it, but okay. Take out the old side skirts, put on the new ones. I have a feeling the side skirts will be the hardest part of this whole install. But uh, let's we'll see. So we should start on this side because there's actually uh, a good shadow here and a good shade. Here. We just avoided taking out the whole wheel. Oh crap. Oh, I think something over here is still holding. There's like a bolt on the bottom, I think. Oh, there you go. Wait, hold on. There we go. Noise. The vent right there makes it look nice. Oh yeah. So it's a it's much more aggressive. You got like there's like a stepping. There's like a stepping thing right here. That one doesn't have it. And then it's a pr pretty much the same body lines. You got that step and then the little dent at the bottom, which looks really cool. So it's like aggressive, but not extremely aggressive. It still has the same lines in a way. Like this one has like these little brackets right here, which this goes in. Alright, we'll figure it out. Yeah, let's mock it out first and see. with the door as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> up here is pretty good though. Up here like gaps actually perfect up here. Except we got that right there as well. There's like a hole. It's like a random hole. You push that in though. And we basically just have to push everything in and just raise it up. You're supposed to come up, put the bolts at the bottom, pull, pull it up. And, and then just bolt it there which is like the main thing right there. Keep this. But then wouldn't the if we bolt it from the outside, like you know, just and wouldn't that look weird? Right here. Yeah. Well, you close the door, and none of this open. None of you can't see any of this. Yeah, but I don't know. I wonder if the bolts even line up with the tabs, though. Yeah, this one does. Does? All right. Good. We just talked to Josh on the phone. He advised us that we could go ahead and kind of use a heat gun on this, and so it strains back up, and then just basically a huge 3M tape right here all around which is not a bad idea because we'll have clips here clips down here but um yeah this is like the biggest problem right now just kind of getting this to be flat with that yo it actually like moves moves a lot more Dude, I wish, I don't think it's gonna work like this though. We, we need like a clamp or something to just hold it there. All right, time to go in the Wrangler. Dude, we're gonna die in here from how hot it is. Oh, there you go. Oh, once it get moving, it's pretty good. I keep thinking that flag is so one. You even got a little vlog set up right here. <laughs> From Auto Zone, we actually got this. Uh, what would you call this? Like a compressor so, uh, thingy, majingy. Little vice grip. I think it's a vice grip. Some know. sort of vice grip. We're gonna go ahead. Um, as I'm heating it up here, we're gonna put the the vice grip from the inner of the car and just compress the the fret, not the fender light. I want to say the side skirt into the car, so I don't have to be like holding it with a glove. That's not really gonna work. So we should heat it up how it is right now, and then maybe move it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. That's it. What if you flip it the other way around for the... <laughs> That's 
it's not too bad at all. We're gonna go ahead and leave it like this for a little bit. And while we do that, see, this is what I'm saying. I mean, there's still some clips. We got three clips, and then we're missing those over there. But I mean, that's fine, because over there's the part where we're gonna 3M it a lot. So we can... Yeah, here. You see how this had the clips? Yeah, it has like a little mount. So are we gonna have to make our own little mounts for the clip? No, I think if you, if you make a, a hole, if you make two holes like that, like an opening. We can just slide, slide this in? Yeah. All right, now we can do that. Okay, so it actually did straighten up. Right? Like if you look from up here, it looks straight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, put the clips, well, we're gonna take the side skirt off, put the clips over there, and then we're gonna leave this for quote unquote the, <laughs> the very end, um, and just leave it overnight here with the little clamp, and it's with the 3M on the bottom, the clamp, and everything buttoned up, so yeah. All right, we gotta drill some holes into the side skirt, and we're gonna be using deep tissue rub did one of us get injured obviously not this is what we're gonna do though basically have to line up where we have to drill the holes here for the clips but they have to line up with these uh where the clips go into up here so what we're gonna do we're gonna put gel on here this one that one and when we put the side skirt on it should show up here and then we know exactly where to drill make sure it's straight and then Press it in. Press it in to mark it. It's perfect. One, we got two, we got three, let's go. Just see if they line up. Yeah, they line up. Look at that, dude. Not, not not the shoes, but look at the clips. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, 3M all that, so we gotta clean up the surface, and then 3M, like a bunch of 3M on this side, and then we can actually clip everything up, both from the bottom, everything good. right here we're gonna end it right here with that being said guys this is the end of the video so I finished but not really so we did the rear bumper the front bumper as you guys saw me uh, do last I was working on that side skirt over there which took me hours on hours on hours stayed up to like 2 a.m. to make sure it's done right it's true <laughs> and, yeah my sister was here and it is done right I'm gonna show you guys real quick but we're gonna do a part two of this um, install and Two, we're going to be installing the front lip. We're gonna be installing the next side skirt. We're gonna see it on the ground driving around. And we're just gonna have a lot of fun. So if you wanna see part two, which you will, smash that thumbs up button. And let me show you guys what we did so far because it actually looks insane, amazing. I love it. And I'll take the camera. Thank you, camera lady. I appreciate it. Nice. Do you like the side skirts? I do, I do. <laughs> so on the side skirts, you will see how I was able to do this and get it so well in the next video. But man, it was painful. It was horrible, but we did that. So the rear bumper's looking. You guys already seen it. Things looking gamey. I know, right? It's gonna look amazing. Wow. And obviously, you guys saw the front bumper. Now, this thing's gonna look amazing. I'm super excited. We still gotta do the front lip, the lights that I haven't found. Okay, quick comparison. Look at this side, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Three, two, one. Dude, that side skirt is like a thousand times better than this one. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. I am happy. I'm excited. The really big reason why I love this uh, body kit is it's gonna be functional. We're gonna cut out, you're gonna be able to see the turbo from the back. You got the big hole in the front bumper for the intercooler. We can do something with the little side skirt vents. It's gonna be amazing, man. I'm filming this current day, so I have yet to see the car on the ground driving around. I feel like it's gonna look like from another planet. I'm not even, we're gonna be, Doge isn't going to the moon anymore. We're gonna be going to Mars in this with, the, with this body kit. So be sure to come back for part two of the body kit. Kit's gonna be complete. Peace out, love you guys so much. Smash that like button. If you have not already, smash that like button. It helps out so much and I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. I love you guys, peace. And as always, my name is Danny. Shout out to Christian for helping me. And shout out to every single one of you that come back and watch me. 
and subscribe. Road to 200K.